about prophecies of a quantum transition. Is it really true that on December 21st, on the subtle plane, there will be a division of people's consciousnesses into 3D and 4D? How will the structure of 4D human consciousness change? Will the causal body really collapse? This question was asked in the previous class. Well, a month has passed, and as you can see, nothing happened. Although for some people it did. We have discussed with you colleagues that we are not going to heaven together, and for some people the transition has taken place, for some people it has not yet, for some people it will be, for some people it will never happen. Do not generalize. Generalization is also a feature of binaries, a feature of dualism. If one has transitioned, then all must transition. If the reality has changed for all, then it has changed for one. This is the main mistake. There will be no single reality for everyone, no single mechanism to drive everyone into one stall with a unified worldview. If you haven't transitioned into another reality, if you haven't passed through the formatting, it doesn't mean that everybody hasn't. If you have, it doesn't mean that the way exists for everybody. As you can see, December 21st, 2022, just like the same date in 2012, wasn't that absolute quantum transition that everyone had been waiting for. Because the quantum transition for everyone is nonsense. You have to reach a certain level of consciousness, a certain level of existential volume, a certain state of the subtle bodies, to find oneself at the right time and the right place for this transition to take place. Now tell me, is it realistic for this to exist for everyone? On a universal scale, is the whole planet going to make the transition? Would have to get into a collapsing black hole to make it happen. But that didn't seem to happen. Micro black holes won't suck everyone in, but they will help a few to transform. We are not the same. Each person is a microcosm on its own. Everyone will be given their own personal black hole through the narrow throat of which you will have to pass and become singularity in it. And if all together, then probably in what we do, the way we live, what mankind as a whole, and man in particular, has experienced during the entire epoch of the formation of the human community, human civilization, none of it will make any sense. None of it at all. Because different levels of consciousness will get the same result. Different achievements in this life will receive the same result. Different civilizational results will receive the same results in the end, the same score, the same outcome. Is that really why we started all this? I don't think so. Then it's not going to happen this way. That's why my answer to you, colleague, is probably quite obvious.